Hey there, friend. I am really thrilled to have you here to learn about our Branding Get Started guide, specifically about how to use it so you can walk through all of the pages here in this workbook and really get very clear on what your brand is and understand how you're going to carry it out and what that's going to look like for you and your business. If we haven't met, my name is Jessica Wanglin. I've been an online entrepreneur since 2009 when I started as a home decor blogger. I run in our network marketing team in the wellness space and my own brand where I help online entrepreneurs get clarified on their brand and love their content and all those great things about marketing. And so Let's walk a little bit through this guide and how to use it. Now, the Branding Get Started guide is very comprehensive. And so you'll see a lot of information in here that may or may not actually apply to your business at this time. So feel free to just kind of do your best to fill in information. But I promise that when you actually look at the questions that are being asked to clarify what exactly your brand is and what you're going to do with it, it really is going to help you just get a better vision about what actually to do for your business, specifically with your brand. So let's just chat a little bit at the beginning about what exactly a brand is. We know that personal branding has just become so popular these days. And I personally think it's because people want to connect with other people. Nobody wants to come online or meet a new person and be sold to, but people will connect with things that are of interest to them. So basically, you want to find your authentic self. What are the things you love to talk about? What are the things you want to do in the world? What are the resources that you can share with people? And how to put all of those things together becomes your brand. So it's basically, you know, how you make people feel, what you want to be remembered for, and how you can kind of communicate that in the online space and the in-person space, of course, too. How branding helps your business, it actually gives your message a lot of consistency. When people start to see your information, they're gonna recognize you and your message. They're gonna connect with that feeling that you give them, right? We all have a feeling when it comes to brands that exist in the world. It's really gonna help you stand out. And what I hear the most from people that I've worked with about their branding is it finally helps them feel organized in their business. Like they can actually show up online now because they have things figured out and they're clear about what exactly their message is. And so here's just a couple, not four is a total list, but elements that make up a brand. So basically it should be your message for sure that you identify with, but what is your personality type? What are, what are the things that you talk about? What are your branding buckets? That's three to five areas of things that you on a rotational basis can communicate out to the public about. What are the colors, fonts, and elements that all make up your brand? That's the visual part, but that's not the only part, of course. And then a tagline. If you have a tagline for what you do, especially if you have a personal brand, it's always helpful for people to get more clear and know exactly what you do specifically for that. So what actually branding can do for your business helps you gain confidence, right? We all love that. You want to be in the right mindset. You want to show up with posture and authority um, to just feel good about what you're doing and know about how to communicate that. It helps you share your message. Of course, you can use branding in a lot of different ways, not just in a logo. Um, helps you communicate with your customers. If you have a team of people and your audience and all those great things that go along with all of the marketing arms that you can promote your business for. And then, like I said, market your yeah, market yourself and your business. So newsletters, email, products that you make social media stories, opt-ins, all of those things are great ways to use your branding. So here's a couple of things to think about when preparing for your brand. And this is great also if you're someone who's very multi-passionate, if you've done some, a variety of different things in the past, or you work in a different job, like you work in a corporate job that doesn't necessarily connect to what you do online as an entrepreneur and you're kind of trying to shift. So the workbook focuses on a lot of the questions, like I said, to ask yourself. So just go through the pages that are going to work for you. Think about and reflect on how you're going to use the brand, what it's going to look like, where it's going to actually show up, because that's going to help you answer a lot of questions about what exactly you're creating. And then, of course, you want to get inspired. Go to Pinterest. Make yourself a board of all the things that you find are reflective of your vision, your dream business, your dream, whatever it might be. Um, you're going to find a lot of information there and you're going to then start to see how the pieces come together about colors you're drawn to, you know, the styles you're drawn to, that kind of thing. So it's always great to get prepared. So I'm not going to read off all of these questions here about how to identify your brand, but these are questions to reflect on, like I said, and ask yourself about yourself, what you want that message to be, what in your past will help uh, kind of get inform what you're going to do going forward. And then more specifically, and this happens later too, questions about your ideal 
customer avatar, also known as a client, an ICA. That's the person that you're going to help. You have to put yourself in their shoes. What is their journey with you and how does your brand help them? And so then starting through the workbook, there's a lot of pages here, about 20, that walk through talking about you. What are you, the answers to your questions here about yourself? What do you like to talk about in your life? What are you known for? What are people come ask you about? And all those other things. You can identify some core values. They can, these can be things like authenticity, integrity, family values, things like that you want to start to map out and then how those might be used in certain ways. And that can be like in events that you do or products that you offer or type of medium actually that you use. You are speaking to an audience that loves videos. That's one of your values. And you're going to put that communication style on there about you and your message. What is it specifically about the people that you want to connect with? What do you want to say to them? Um, you can also do your I help statement in here at the bottom. I help blank people do this blank so they can blank. There's just space for that to brainstorm some of those and put in some power words in there too. Think about some adjectives that are going to work. There's also a space later in the workbook for adjectives around your brand. A value proposition is a way that distinguishes you from um, other competitors that are doing what you're doing or other business people that are doing what you're doing. So why exactly would people buy specifically from you? What makes you unique? And those things are always going to be your unique skill sets, your environment, your history, you know, all of those things that are specific to you. So what are the main points you're solving for your customer that is on here? And again, Writing the answers to these questions is really going to kind of get you flowing and give you some ideas about what this looks like and how it comes together for you. And then you could talk about what type of product you're offering. Again, who's your client? Where and how can you reach those people? What are their ages? Where do they shop? What are their biggest frustrations? And if you don't know this, you can always certainly ask people. You can find a lot of information in Facebook groups when someone asks an engaging question. You can ask those questions yourself. You can set up interviews with people to find out specifically what they as your ideal customer need and find and want to have in their life. That's either a frustration or they want a solution for specifically, of course, around your business and the service that you offer. This is the AIDA model, which stands for attention, interest, desire and action. It might be really helpful for you to walk through this. Specifically, when you start to put out some copy and things that you can use on your website, in your social media, in your email messages about your brand and your messaging. Here's a chart you can think about, again, putting all of those things together. What are the skill sets that you learned in a work environment? Or what are the educational things that you can bring together? What are the experiences that you've had that you can talk about or at least use the skill sets from when it comes to putting together your brand? then you can get to a brand voice. Like, did you know there were so many ways to look at doing this? And again, if some of these don't really connect with you right now, then just work on the parts in this workbook that actually do. There's some adjectives you can talk about. What is the promise you wanna to make to your customers? Again, the value proposition is here. What are the products that they're gonna benefit from? Perhaps you're picking some hero products or a, a product suite from your company. Talk about those. And then um, a brand story. This is really amazing and fun to put together when you talk about like how your brand came to be and why. And sometimes it's really going to be some of the reason why you started in your business and what you're hoping to achieve with it, like what you're hoping your movement will be. You can put together your branding buckets here um, so you know how to rotate through those. And then we get into the visual part of this. So colors and fonts and things like that that you might already be using in some of your designs here, jot those down and those will get pulled together um, along with the colors. There's a little bit of color psychology, your logo. What exactly are you going to use here? So you can pull together then the colors, the fonts, what platforms you're going to use. And then this is actually a template page in this workbook that you can use to create your brand board and make something amazing for yourself. And so this is where you can pop in your logo. You can have this all in one place. You can know the fonts that you're using, the color codes that you're using, and then any kind of inspiration, textures, backgrounds, things like that, that you can use in the um, brand for in your brand board for yourself. Here's a little bit of a checklist for rebranding. If you already have one, make sure that you, when you do make that logo and get all those things out there that you've put it in all of these places so people know how to connect with you. 
and that they see that your brand is all cohesive online. And then a couple of notes pages at the end, which are always super helpful. Print these out and then make some great things. Um, checklist for yourself and all of that here in the branding get started guide. So thanks so much. I hope this helps you clarify your brand and make great things happen in your business.